Senator Daryl Roussan, who is live on the phone with us here this morning. Senator, appreciate your time. Can you hear me? You're very welcome. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, I'll ask you the same thing I asked Councilman Goods last hour here. I mean, the floor is yours as you wake up and see what unfolded on the other side of the bay in Tampa. Uh, what, what is the most important thing that people need to hear right now? Well, I understand the people's anger. I understand their frustration at the murder of George Floyd. Floyd deserved due process, not a death sentence. And Dr. King said that rioting is the language of those who feel they aren't being heard. And I understand people not feeling that justice is fair, that due process is afforded. But there's a constructive way to protest, peaceful protest that leads to change, not destructive criminality. And this is sort of like the double whammy for these businesses. First, the pandemic slows them down or darn near shuts them down, and now they have to suffer brick and mortar damage and theft of product. And it's, this is our community. You know, and with people, what I'd like to get across is we want the right to peacefully protest when we're feeling upset and frustrated, and we want to be heard. Mm -hmm. You know, we've heard that Martin Luther King quote repeated several times here this week. And, and so what do you say, though, to others who say, yeah, you could protest, but do it peacefully. But then on the flip side, you do have individuals who go, we we tried that and no one listened then. And we're upset and we're angry now. It's 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 such an interesting dichotomy here. So how do you how do you rectify? Um, you ch you channel it constructively. You say, look, if you want change, then go register and vote. If you want change, then go to City Hall. If you want systemic and internal change, then join the police department and change the culture from the inside out. Senator, I'm not going to stand here and pretend like I'll ever fully understand how people of color in this community are feeling, how people of color across this country are feeling. But I want to be a part of the solution. What What is the most immediate uh, plan of action that people can do right now to be a part of the solution moving forward here? Look for constructive ways. We, we need to scrutinize our citizen arrest laws. We need to make sure that whenever force is used to effect an arrest, it should require quarterly reporting to FDLE so there can be some outside review, not just internal review. And if there's an officer that receives more than a certain number of complaints, that should trigger a comprehensive performance review. And maybe we need to think about increasing culpability and responsibility on good officers who witness bad conduct and fail to speak up. The responsibility is on all of us moving forward. Senator Roussan, thank you for your time this morning. As always, we appreciate it. Thank you.